Kaduna State Government has shut all entry points into the state from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. every day as no interstate or intrastate travel is allowed at night time even for essential services. This was confirmed in a statement issued on Friday by the Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Aruan, saying that the order is with immediate effect. Aruan said that the decision followed a security briefing that criminal elements are using nighttime hours to smuggle people into the state. According to him, security agencies will respect the exemptions granted for the movement of food and other essentials in daytime hours. To Kano State now, where Abdullahi Gonduje, the state governor, has asked the federal government to relax the 14-day total lockdown imposed on the state. The president had on Monday ordered a total lockdown in the state as part of measures to curb the spread of coronavirus disease. Buhari had also announced the deployment of a team of health experts to address the rising cases of unusual deaths in the state. Speaking on Thursday at the government house during the inauguration of a panel to support the Kano State Task Force Technical Committee, the governor highlighted that it was important to relax the lockdown so as to ease the hardship on residents of the state. Joining us live via Skype is political and public affairs analyst Bolahan Olojede to take a look at this matter. Good morning, Mr. Olojede. Uh, good morning, Amaka. How Great are you to doing today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Good, good, good. Now, I'm sure you're following the events uh, that is unfolding in Kano State. Uh, the governor has asked, begs uh, the federal government to please relax the lockdown. Well, one of the reasons he highlighted was economic concerns in his words, and I quote, we are making this appeal on behalf of our people who are presently running out of food items. Would love the federal government to relax the lockdown for a period of time to enable people to stock their homes, especially now that majority of us are fasting. It will also ease the economic hardship in the state. What's your thought? Um, I, I thought the governor should have seen this coming and should have been better prepared. Uh, if you look at the numbers coming out of Kano in recent, the last few days, including yesterday, it's, it's embarrassing. Left to me, the lockdown should be kept as it is. Let Kano state government find an alternative way to get uh, this uh, food, whatever, across to the people that need it the most, rather than opening up that place. Significantly from what we're seeing on social media, a lot of people in Kano still don't even believe that this thing is real, in spite of the news about death and, 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 and all that stuff. So it has a, it has a big work on its hand. The citizen's education is still very poor. There is still the need for him to work closely with the religious leaders so that the people who are closer to this citizens are the ones speaking to them in the language they understand. And they are not seeing this disease as something that is still elitist and it's up there. So they, I, I, I think that Nigeria needs to review this and look at the possibility of finding an alternative way of getting supplies to the people who are needy rather than asking for uh, 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 the lockdown to be, to be relaxed for, for them. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think it's, it's going to pan out well. Yeah, because, I mean, one of the questions that everyone is asking is if the gov governor, the state governor, who is in charge anyways of the state and he sees all that is happening during this, uh, you know, these few days and is asking for a relaxing of the lockdown, what, where does this leave us, even as a nation, as a people who are connected one way or the other? It's a disaster. I don't, I don't think anybody should listen to that uh, the right thing would be to find an alternative way to get supplies to those who are who are needed. See, we've been hearing about uh, COVID-19 since January. We've we've seen in Nigeria a three state got locked down. For this is the fifth week. The question is, was Kano sleeping all this while? I thought somebody who is watching what is going on around the Nigeria, around the entire world should have been better prepared, not wait for the time when there is now a lockdown. You're now saying your people are not ready. They are not, they've not gotten the supplies. It doesn't show, I, I, I don't want to use the wrong word. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. But we have information from across the world about what is going on. We have information about Nigeria's situation. We have lockdown in states in Nigeria. And here you are in May for something that has been in the air since January, and the governor is more or less saying, oh, I, I didn't know things like this are going to happen. 
you know, who, what, what leadership is that? Hmm. All right. Uh, thank you so very much, Mr. Olojede, for your time. And please do keep safe. Oh, well, thank you very much for having me. All right.